Hi, this is Anna from Just Paint. Pardon the voiceover. Today we're going to show you a quick video on how to keep your face painting kit clean and sanitary. These fast, easy cleaning practices will help pre prevent germ spread while you're face painting. We have a water system that we're going to show you so that you can wash your brushes. This is the um, cup for loading your water into your brush. You're just going to use this only for getting your brush wet. The second cup is going to be for rinsing your brush once you're done painting. So this is where all the paint water is going to end up. You can put some lush brush inside of the rinse water um, to help make it a speedier process. The third container is for sanitizing. You only need a small amount of alcohol in here to, that will thoroughly get into your paintbrush. I'm just pointing out the lush brush inside there for quick rinsing. Okay, once you put a little alcohol in there, then you're going to rinse your brush very thoroughly so all the bristles are moistened. And then you're going to stick them in a cup where they can dry out. Once the brushes are thoroughly dry, they're going to be sanitary. This cup is for putting your dirty um, alcohol water. So every time you rinse out a brush, you're going to dump it into this cup. And then you're going to keep the lid on to prevent the odor of alcohol from emitting into the air. This is hand sanitizer, which of course you should use whenever you need to. You can do it at the beginning of the gig and you can sanitize your hands between clients. If you accidentally touch their face or touch something that you think is dirty, just put a little hand sanitizer on and let it air dry um, to keep yourself clean. Hand sanitizer is a great way to help prevent the spread of germs. You can also have some baby wipes. If you want, the clients can wipe their face down. You can have the parents help the kids um, or the kids can wipe themselves, especially during the flu season when they might have something on their face that you definitely don't want to touch. Here are some cotton swabs. These are great for putting on face paint on the lips because you just use it one time and then you throw it away. You can also use them around the eye area or the nose area if you want to, and then throw it away. Let's see. I'm going to show you how to actually paint a design. I want you to see that I have the lids on all of my cakes. It's a really good practice to keep your paints covered, either by individual lids or by having one big sheet of plastic that you keep on top of everything. If you have paints in a palette, shut the palette when you're done using it so that in case you accidentally sneeze or someone near your kit sneezes, your paints are covered and protected. Here's the sponges. You want to use one sponge per child and one sponge per load. So you do not want to double dip. You don't want to touch the kid's face and then go back into your face paint. I'll show you how to use one sponge so you can load up as much paint as possible and just need one sponge per kid, then throw it away into a bucket to sanitize later. Poof glitter is perfect because you don't need to touch the glitter or use a brush. You just mist it on the face and there's no interaction with the kid which helps prevent the spread of germs. Okay so first I'm gonna get a sponge and I'm going to load the sponge up with multiple colors of face paint. I'm gonna start with the lightest color first which is gonna be a yellow and I have to do this after I've moistened it into my loading cup. So you want to make sure that it's wet enough to absorb all the face paint you want before you start adding the paint. I need to uncap my paints and then I will start applying the colors. I'm going to use yellow, um, teal, and purple for this little butterfly eye design. All right, so first I'm going to load just one end, the tip of the sponge that I want closest to the eye, into the yellow. And then I'm going to flip it and load right next to it the teal. And then on the very end, load the purple. So I've got all three colors on there. And I don't need to use a different sponge for every color. Once you feel like you've got enough, you can go for it. If you have a water spray bottle and you feel like your, your sponge just wasn't wet enough, you can spritz the sponge and add a little bit more paint. Stay away from the immediate eye area. You don't want to get next to the mucous membranes because that's an area 
where um, germs can enter the body. So just space your sponge a little bit, a little bit away from the water line. And then tap on all the colors that you need. All right, now that you've used that sponge, you're gonna wanna throw the sponge away into your dirty sponge bucket. And you can sanitize those sponges later at home. Now I'm going to load up a brush into the loading cup and I'm going to use some Fusion Strong Black here. I want to make sure that I load my brush really, really, really well so that I can paint this whole eye of the butterfly with one load. If you're going to do a double-sided butterfly, you might have to use two brushes, one for each eye, or use very few lines so that you don't use up a ton of black around each butterfly eye. Alrighty, I'm just doing some fun strokes to create this wing. And you'll notice that I loaded it up enough that I can do the entire wing with just one load. If you don't think your strokes were dark enough, just go over it because if you rotate the brush, you'll probably find some paint hiding on one side of the brush to make your black really dark and you don't have to reload it again. Alright, now I'm going to rinse it in the rinsing jar. You want to get out as much paint as you possibly can. The Lush Brush is going to help get all of the paint out of there. And now we're going to sanitize just in case there's any germs on the brush still. So squirt a little bit of alcohol in your jar and make sure to really rub it in so it gets deep inside the bristles so that not a single germ is left in there. Now leave your brush to dry. You want to make sure these brushes are thoroughly dry before you use them again. So just leave it there and then after you get a collection of brushes and they're all dry, you can move them back into your clean brush area. Alrighty, so make sure once you're done that everything's all capped up and you can spritz a little bit of glitter on the design and voila, I look amazing, don't I? Thanks for watching this video. I hope that it was really informational. Uh, make sure to let your clients know that you use safe cleaning practices to keep the little kids clean and to keep them colorful. Have a great day.